He's had a great year. He's an innings eater this year for the Minnesota Twins. He's really helped out the bullpen. He relies on movement, movement, and movement. He's a contact pitcher. Doesn't walk many. Doesn't strike out. 250. 34 years old. And here's the first pitch. Swinging at the first pitch is Jeter. And Danny Valencia threw him out. With three different type movements. Didn't mean to. Got it past Pavano. Hardy got it. Any guys pitch to that strike zone. Got him looking. Three up, three down. We go to the bottom half of the first. Absolutely. A lot of people are going to be wondering what they're going to get. And the Minnesota Twins are hoping that that stare over the glove and his location don't match up. But you look at his numbers for the year, pretty darn good. That ball is hit right up the middle. And Span has a leadoff single. And also led off the game on the Minnesota side with a single. That's right back to Pettit. Got the out at second, and they turn the double play. What a turn by Derek Jeter. And he strikes him out to end the first. Twins get a base hit. We can't do anything with it. We go to the second. Hit hard, right edge. J.J. Hardy, who comes him down. One away. One and two against Cano. That ball's hit to straightaway center field. Denard Span is back on the track and makes the play. And he is pitching for Florida as Swisher lines one to center and Span cannot cut it off. Swisher at second and he'll hold right there. Rounded to Hardy. The Yankees get a runner in scoring position, but can't take advantage. We go bottom two. Between these teams, the Atlanta Braves of John Smoltz and Minnesota Twins. And there for the Twins of 2010 is the Young. Leading off the second with a single. So they strike zone. Tommy, a blooper. And they're at first and second. What are you going to do? Tapped up toward third. Rodriguez. Good on. One down. The runners move up. They're loaded here in the second. Fly ball right. Swisher positions himself, makes the catch. Gilman Young will score as the throw went to third. Toward second. Easy play for Robinson Cano. But the Twins are on the board. We head to the third. To have a, a share of glory again in the postseason. He hits the one two from Pavano to first. Gets over there and makes the play. Third. Game two of the ALDS. Second strikeout for Carl Pavano. Third strikeout. Got him with the change. We're going to the bottom of the third. That ball is popped up shallow left. Brett Gardner makes the play. One down. Wow. I think somebody can carry Denard as this ball is hit down the right side. Long run for Nick Swisher, and what a play. He had a long way to go. Bounce to second. That is a very easy inning for Andy Pettit. Must have been some video he saw. <laughs> Such a towering shot that the pitching coach Rick Anderson, like you said, that ball is belted off the wall and right. There is no doubt about that. A leadoff double for Granderson here in the fourth. Work with him, and man, did that work. Here's Teixeira. 
And there's a bullet to left. That'll fall in front of Young. Granderson had to hold up on the line drop. First and third for Alex Rodriguez. Swinging at the first pitch to right. Kubel makes the catch. Granderson the tag. Tie game. Now, if you're Pavano, that's not the word. Beshera at first, and that ball is hit right on the screws to right over the head of Kubel. Teixeira around second, and they're at first and third. Boy, they have hit some shots off Pavano. Of the zone. Right back where it came from. He's going to try to go six to three for the double play, and does. Carl Pavano fielding his position well. Threw it right to the bag. <laughs> Highly anticipated. There is some firewood to third. Mayrod throws him out. This will be his 47th pitch. Another broken bat. This to center. Two down. Not that you have any thoughts on that. John. I do, I do. Fouled off toward the Twins dugout. Teixeira makes the play another easy inning for Andy Pettit. Look it into that, John. Trust me. Sage advice. Jorge Posada hit that ball on the button to right to lead off the fifth. He's having some fun. <laughs> Lance Berkman to the gap in left center field. That ball is well hit, and that ball is gone. Lance Berkman places the bat down in the batter's box. You don't want to see that as a pitcher. He's in home run. As Gardner grounds to second for the second out. Fly ball center field. Drifting over his span. Who makes the play. That'll do it in the fifth. But Lance Bergman unloaded and then gently placed the bat down to start his trot. Subscribe to a lot of theories as you've already said well. What's your theory on replay? In the sky and say, hey boys, that was a catch. Round it sharply to A-Rod at third. Two down. But I'm with you. Up goes, the more confidence he gets, he's proven it to himself. That ball's hit to center. Curtis Granderson right there. Another three up, three down inning. We played five at Target Field. Giants and Braves get their series started in San Francisco later tonight on TBS. And there is Granderson, who is on fire in this series. Edges away from first and takes off. Fly ball, center field. One down. Cities. There goes Granderson. Rounded in the hole and threw into left. Granderson to third. They're on the corners. Popped him up. Shallow left. Elman Young calls and makes the play. Unable to tag is Granderson. Firewood to short. Hardy throws it out. Pavano gets out of the jam. Let's see if that gives the Twins some juice here in the sixth. To Curtis Granderson in center. <laughs> that ball is touched off to left. Did Hudson get enough? Yes, he did. And we're tied. <laughs> Sending him up. Mauer grounds to Cano. Questions not only to himself, but his manager. That ball's hit toward the gap in right center field. Granderson on his horse. Cannot make the play. Young is at second. 
He's going to go for third. The throw. He's safe. Be right at somebody that's vacated. Tapped right back to the mound. Hit it. Throws him out. And then pumps his fist in frustration because of this. Orlando Hudson solo homer. That has us tied. And that might happen. You make sure that you have people ready to take his place. A leadoff walk to Posada. That ball's hit to center. Denard Span on his horse. Runs out of room. That ball is off the wall. Here comes Posada. He's being waved. And the New York Yankees have taken the lead. from Carl Pavano lays down the bunt and with his speed he'll beat it out as Valencia had trouble picking it up reaches out hits it to right and that's going to fall for a base hit runners at first and second another run crosses as Berkman scores and it's 4-2 that certainly appeared to be a strike called a ball and then he makes him pay on the next pitch and the twins are not a gets this one down they will go to first game base is loaded you got a guy with the power that Alex Rodriguez that would qualify two down him up. The biggest man on the field just got two huge outs. Time to stretch a target. Well. Game one. Going into this one. As he coaches a harmless pop-up. Alex Rodriguez. You know what I'm saying. Struck him out. Looking. Then it ends the seventh in style. Yankees lead it by two as we head to the eighth. Well, used very often, these right handers. The 0-2 is tapped up toward third. Valencia gloves and throws him out. That's it to left. Delman Young back. Edge of the track. Two down. Career strikes him out. One, two, three, eight. Break a tie in the seventh. Last night, Kerry Wood came on in the eighth. Look at that breaking ball, and Hardy knew it. Right back to Wood. No struggles in this eighth inning for Kerry Wood. One, two, three. We go to the ninth in Minnesota. That ball is hit off the glove. Of Orlando Hudson. Lead off single here in the ninth. Long time umpire as Jeter taps up toward third. Valencia got him by a half a step. To center. A blooper. It's going to fall. And there is the fifth New York run. Anderson with a bluff at first as Teixeira lifts it to left. That ball is deep. And Young makes the play. Granderson's going to have to hustle back to first and gets there. And that ball carried to the wall. Granderson on the move. Fly ball right. Tubal makes the play. Heading home to New York. And we've all a leadoff single to left for Joe Mauer. Oh, 
left to short. Six, four, three. And the Yankees are one out away from taking a 2 nothing lead. A single erased in a double play. Tomey to shallow left. Brett Gardner right there. And the New York Yankees have taken a 2 nothing lead over the Minnesota Twins. Well, the Yankees won the battle again.